This time we're visiting the city of Bilbao in Spain. Located in the Vizcay Bay, Bilbao is the largest city in Basque Country. The Casco Viejo, a medieval neighborhood, is famous for its seven streets. As well as for the Santiago Cathedral. Built during the 14th and 15th centuries in the Gothic style. the Miguel de Unamuno Square, named after the Spaniard philosopher and writer, houses the Basque Archaeological, Ethnographic and Historical Museum, and the New Vizcaya Archaeological Museum. Next to the Nervian River, we find some of the main landmarks of the city, like the city town. The Iberdrola Tower, the tallest building in the city. And the world famous Guggenheim Museum. It is surrounded by Poppy and Maman, the spider. The museum was designed by architect Frank Gehry. 11,000 square meters of exhibition space of important contemporary and pop art are distributed throughout 19 galleries. The museum was inaugurated on 18 October 1997 by King Juan Carlos I of Spain. Bilbao, also home to one of Spain's most emblematic football clubs. In the northwest of the city, we find one of the most modern stadiums in Europe. El Estadio de San Mamés. Built in 2013, it has a capacity of more than 53,000. It is the home field of athletic club, the Lions. This stadium replaced the old San Mamés, the cathedral, the legendary stadium that hosted some matches from the 1982 FIFA World Cup. England faced France, Czechoslovakia and Kuwait. Athletic Bilbao, a historic team that has won 8 Ligas, 24 Copas del Rey, and 3 Spanish Super Cups. Many historic Basque players have played for this club like uh, Rafael Moreno Pichichi, Telmo Sarra, or Jose Angel Iribar.
As a regular follower of La Liga, I keep so many good memories from the old and the new San Mames Stadium. During the 90s, I saw many talents play for this club like Aitor Caranca, Rafael Alcorta, El Cuco Siganda, Andonigo Icochea, Vicente Lizarazu, and one of my favorite players at the time, Julian Guerrero, who played in the 1994 and 1998 FIFA World Cup with Spain. In the late 90s, the team played in the Champions League with uh, players like uh, Joseba Echeverria and Usaiz. One of the best periods was definitely under the leadership of Marcelo Bielsa. The team reached uh, the final of the Europa League in 2012, which they lost against Atletico de Madrid in Bucharest. Something that I have always admired about this team is the fact that they only play with players from the Basque country, mostly from their youth academy, and have managed to always be in the first division uh, along with uh, Real Madrid and Barcelona. Lately, the team has done quite well, uh, especially in the Copa del Rey, uh, reaching two consecutive finals in 2020 and 2021. with notable players like Unai Simón, Inigo Martínez, Munein or the William Brothers. And now, let's enjoy the match between Athletic Bilbao and Getafe.
the Basque people, one of the oldest cultures in Europe, lived in a region which extends from the north of modern Spain to the south of France. Its culture can still be appreciated nowadays, including their language, dances, clothes, and music with instruments like the alboca, salaparta, sistu, dambolin, and tuntun, among others. We end our trip by taking the funicular to Arzanda's viewpoint. Breathtaking views of the city can be enjoyed from here, including the main landmarks of the city. night falls and we say farewell to the lovely city of Bilbao. Hi, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time.